Hi guys, my name is Action from Action Studio and today I'm going to make a quick tutorial about something that has bugged me for a long time. The challenge was for me, I create my content on my PC and then project it using my Mac. So every time I would be creating my content to test it, I would have to send the files from my PC to my Mac either using Dropbox or using a USB dryer every single time. That process took a lot of time and I wanted to streamline it completely and make it a bit automated. So I decided to connect my projector with my PC directly and then be able to project it using Resolume. But still that was taking time because now I had to render files and then put it in Resolume and then send it out again. So it was a bit faster but still not automated as I wanted. So the solution that I came up with was by using a software called XSplit Broadcaster. I'm going to give you a quick demo and a tutorial of how to go about it. So here I have my Cinema 4D um, and I'm going to click on so let's say I wanted to see how would uh, mm, this for example look and uh, you know like how would these lines look on my surface because my surface is a square and I'm making this sort of a tunnel animation where the lights are coming through like this so um, I'm going to click on render viewer, picture viewer and so while it renders um, I'm going to then click on exploit broadcaster. So this is a free software for at least for what we need to do. So you can just sign up, sign up for the free uh, version and you will get this. Now once you, s once you register for the software and it starts up, all you have to do is go to add sources, click on screen capture. You don't have to capture the whole screen, you can simply bring your mouse over to this window which is the picture viewer and click on it. Once you click on the picture viewer, the X split will get that particular window directly. Now you can move the picture viewer as much as you want, I'm just going to put this on the side for a second. And then you can move this as much as you want, this doesn't affect the picture viewer. The only thing that does affect is if you play around with the dimensions because remember it is capturing the whole window. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my expert broadcaster, just drag and increase the size of this. Now the output right now I have set it to is 720p, which is 120, 1280 into 720 at 30 frames per second, which is more than good for my needs. So what's happening so far is from Cinema 4D we have managed to get everything that is rendered over here into expert broadcaster. Alright, now we're going to send it to Resolume. When you install XSplit Broadcaster, it does something awesome, which is that it installs a plugin that will allow you to send the video from XSplit Broadcaster to Resolume Arena. And to use that, all you need to do is go to Sources and then drag and drop this thing right here under Direct Capture Devices, Direct Show Capture Devices. And boom, there we go. Uh, once I click on it, there you see what we have here is my render view. Now this is awesome. So uh, simply go to output, go to advance, and then I think this is from a previous test. So I'm just gonna grab these, delete, just let one stay. Uh, go ahead and place this. This is the input window, remember? If you guys, uh, if you guys are um, not familiar with this stuff that I'm doing right now, I suggest check out my other tutorials for getting started with Resolume. Um, I'm using Resolume 5 right now which has been updated amazingly with new features and uh, updates for projection mapping. We're going to talk about that soon. I'm going to make some more videos for that. I also have, do apologize for not making videos for the longest time. Uh, I was just busy but uh, let's uh, finish this up. So I have uh, selected this much. So by doing this I'm excluding all this extra uh, window stuff that I don't want to see. right? and then in my output transformation all I see is the effect, uh, this itself which is fantastic that exactly does what I need to now you can arrange this based on your real world needs like you know if you need to sort of a sketch cue whatever you want to do um, and then let me just make this window okay pull up uh, cinema 4t so this was the picture viewer I'm gonna hide it behind this and let's say now I want to test um, how would it look if uh, if this was all the way in the back like just for sake right I'm gonna again just 
make my changes, my settings, and then I'm gonna just render through the picture viewer again. Yes. And now, as you can see, I can directly see the changes happening in Resin Loom directly. So the process is quite simple, right? Um, Xplit Broadcaster is capturing whatever is happening on the, uh, the picture viewer and then broadcasting it via the plugin internally to Resin Loom. And then Resin Loom, um, after I have made my changes in the input selection, made the selection only for the area that I want to output, is able to give me this amazing instant result on my surface oh, the amount of time I have spent trying to do this but uh, if I would have I think searched earlier I probably would have uh, come to the solution earlier oh uh, well I have it now though so I hope this tutorial helps uh, some of you who are in the same place as me who use their PC and uh, their Mac uh, for you know uh, different purposes like for me my PC is my content creation machine and my Mac is only for actually projecting stuff uh, I promise I will be making more videos soon thank you so much for the amazing support that you guys have given me I wasn't expecting this to go this big uh, but since it has I'm gonna make more videos and I hope you guys enjoy uh, my tutorials this is action from action studio take care see you soon